Okay, class, what have you learned today? We have started with politics. We went to health. And now we are going to finish it off nicely with a discussion with my kings. Oh my gosh, I really hope you're enjoying the show because we enjoy presenting it to you. At Y254 on Facebook, at Y254 channel on Twitter, hashtag is Y in the morning. Now let me introduce my people first. Hi, people. Hi. How are you? Hi. Today I would like to start with the queen. Hi, queen. Hi. You look very nice. So much. Is this your first time on TV? Yeah. It's okay, we got you. What a pele can be a kidogo, but I, I got you, okay? What's your good name? Nerea Musungu. Nice to meet you, Nerea. Hey, hey, where was Unamun? What is your good name, sir? Raila Ubani. Mm hmm. Yeah. Usim Sumboe. Apana Nimsungu. Atini. Janaita Msungu. Msungu. Karibu Sana Raila to make up to make miss. I am a meme lord. It's panic. Yeah, it's nothing that I put that is not supposed to be there. So how are you? I'm fine, thank mm -hmm. you. You look ready to converse. Yeah. We yeah. are even on standby position. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. What do they call you out here? Um, thank you. Mm -hmm. My name is Zulu Benjamin. Mm -hmm. I'm a psychologist. All right. Yeah. Karibu sana. And Except I would that. like to start off with you guys because you are the reason we are here. Okay? So we'd like to show you a couple of comments on our social media handles let's start with facebook remember at y254 on facebook at y254 channel on twitter hashtag is y in the morning just get off with it as my directors and producers work on that maybe i can introduce the topic to you it's dealing with grief now leotman castoria de matthew i may pass you know condolences to your family and i don't know if I don't want to say we, we predicted something would happen, but it was intentional that today we would talk about grief. What do you think grief is? <sighs> grief, uh, it depends with how you, you define it, but grief is uh, broad. Mm -hmm. But uh, basically, according to me, is uh, when you mourn. Uh, you mourn somebody, you've lost someone, and therefore you're in that situation mm -hmm. of, uh, you know, uh, mourning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think grief is, Queen? Grief to me is mm -hmm. just losing someone, mm -hmm. death, yeah, and the mourning process. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I have a special question. Yes. It, my wisdom, I wanted to cover a couple of things under yes. that umbrella of grief. Mm -hmm. And I realized the definition that I read of grief, it's that it is a reaction to loss. Mm -hmm. And I realized that loss is not just having someone pass away. Mm -hmm. Loss is, can be divorce. Mm -hmm. Loss can ha be having a miscarriage. Put heartbreak there. Yeah. Hey, wait, wait. <laughs> do not, do not <laughs> encourage these ones to start saying that now heartbreak they are grieving yeah. their mourning. But it is part of loss. Yeah. Y you can be fired from your job. That's mm -hmm. loss. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I really like to cover that because in that sense, at least the Kenyans watching us or abroad on <laughs> 376 uh, channel DSTV can relate with us. It's not just for the griefs chicken you're right yeah is it okay to say that that's very true mm -hmm. um you want to study that or i tell you first tell me first I, thank you for broadening it because mm -hmm. i wanted to highlight that to us part of why we are overwhelmed mm -hmm. when we lose through death is because we have not learned to deal with the smaller losses of life ah when you lose a hope mm -hmm. for i took an interview in a job i was ho really hoping to get it when i learned i did not get it mm -hmm. that was a loss i lost a hope i did not lose a job mm -hmm. i lost an opportunity i was hoping for mm -hmm. if you learn to process more losses mm -hmm. you approach a, a lady mm -hmm. that part of loss when you don't know overwhelmed he's coming welcome to the club <laughs> <laughs> so Ati, let's introduce people to the idea that loss is part of life. Mm -hmm. Life itself is motion. Mm -hmm. This is coming, this is going. If you are too rigid by with what you have, mm -hmm. loss itself will rip you apart. Mm -hmm. They say that the only constant thing in life it's is change, change itself. Mm. I want today to bring changes in coming and going, mm -hmm. getting and losing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's introduce uh, change, I mean loss to be part of life. Mm -hmm. So I see my very able team is ready. Woo! Shout out to this and uh, Mr. Mardo. All right, so we have Vanessa Ambani. For me, it's painful and still hurting. I grew, up, I grew up without a dad and a mom who never cared for me except the time I have money and values her marriage to the man she married than me. Oh, 
I'm so sorry. Thank you for sharing. Dame H Town says, hashtag when the morning for me. This is the hardest topic ever. And she says, yes, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't wish anyone to undergo all that. But hey, that's life. The hurt is inevitable. And this is very, very true. J Mo J says, hashtag when the morning present, present from New York. Well, good morning. Good morning, J Mo. They got for me those guys over there, Miss Salimiwa. Meanwhile, to me, it's so hurting. I have nothing to add on this. Oh, do we have uh, Daniel Otis Otis? It's a serious matter, especially when it comes to dealing with rejection, pain, and loss to the boy child. Hi, boy child. I've had conversation with boy child, boy children, because uh, of how the society has wired them to think. They tend to keep a lot to themselves so as to appear strong, while they are slowly dying That's inside. Accurate. Maybe we should start with this even point, this point right here. Yes. Thank you, Daniel Otis Otis. We appreciate you. Any other comment, please don't be afraid. White 5 on Facebook, White 5 on channel, Twitter, hashtag is what in the morning. Tell me about the boy child struggles. Ni ukweli, manome ni kujikaza aki. Manome ni kujikaza ni ukweli, but yeah, it's true that uh, to some extent we do keep most of the secrets for ourselves, just for people to see that we are strong, mm -hmm. especially to the, to the firstborns. Mm -hmm response on home. Mm -hmm. Everything is for you. You have to be a role model, you can't mess, you can't, you know. So it's it's hurting to some extent. So in a in a bidi uh mm -hmm. uh, so that at least you smile. Mm -hmm. uh, you smile what on the two anyway. If he keep you know he's going mm -hmm. then what about me? Mm -hmm. uh, that is why I tell people that find a reason to keep going. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Have you ever experienced a situation where they tell you silly be strong no i've never experienced that mm -hmm. but i've seen males being told that mm -hmm. because in this society how they are pre presumed they're being told to like you you should maintain a strong mm -hmm. face yeah so if you saw a guy crying you take a picture low yeah. key then send to your friends on any way why is this one crying? Kwanza, kwanza social media mm -hmm. yeah instead of you you know doing something uh una take video of unaika status in a mm -hmm. it's not something good ukiona mtu anaumia um i had a a very bad experience over the weekend i can't talk about it now mm -hmm. But siki to poa, ukiona mtu anaumia and I'm happy we help the guy. Mm -hmm. uh, kindly, just reach out. Video I just idea. You know, kuweka 30 seconds na ku lose life, you know, it's painful. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's wait. Mm -hmm. yeah. The best thing for us. Okay, let's start off with the slides and then, so you can come in, Dr. So we have dealing with grief and loss. So grief, we attempted to define what grief and loss is. So grief is a reaction to any form of loss. Grief is a reaction to any form of loss. And loss is a permanent separation. That's the, the for example, death of a loved one. Nimona Pia, death of a pet. Someone losing their pet is... <laughs> you are laughing now because you're Africans. You don't know. <laughs> I am losing a job. We have divorce. We have miscarriages. And this, this one was quite sensitive, but I decided to put it there anyway. And Dr. I want you to touch on it. Abortions. We have uh, being conned. You're being out here on the streets. Mtu wa kila kitu. You have retirement. If you were not ready to retire, and suddenly the government is telling you, you're too old for this now, paving way for young blood. Yeah, so we start with the abortions. Do you think it's right to say that it's a loss and you can suffer yeah, grief? Yes, I wanted to start with that one. Yeah, um, many times mm -hmm. because of the word you have used, it's not miscarriage. Mm -hmm. If it's miscarriage, we are assuming it's coming from causes, bes be, you know, there was no choice. Mm -hmm. It just came to an end. That, that we can see mm -hmm. is naturally a loss. Mm -hmm. And men don't understand it because the baby was not yet here. And so they why are you sad? That's it. Uh -huh. But they don't know that. Connection begins from conception. Mm -hmm. That mothers begin to feel the connection mm -hmm. from even that early. Mm -hmm. Now, abortion has other factors. Mm -hmm. What pushed you to eat? You know, many people come to us as psychologists mm -hmm. regretting. There's a girl who told me she hears babies crying and she aborted when the child was, I think, five, second trimester, something. Mm -hmm. And when Akiona Mtoto Ambaya and Kama mine would be this old. Mm -hmm. So it's a loss. But in abortion, there are other factors. Mm -hmm. She starts regretting, mm -hmm. who pushed me to eat. Mm -hmm. I would rather say, let miscarriage be the one we are putting, because abortion will have many other factors we have to look at. Mm -hmm. uh, it, but places like in South Africa, because it's illegal, mm -hmm. it's allowed. They, they have posters there where to do it cheaply. 
you wow. know, you're right there, you're seeing posters mm -hmm. in Kenya because it's not yet allowed. Mm -hmm. um, so it's true, even if the baby was not yet here, mm -hmm. there was a connection and there was a hope and they were already talking, you know, mm -hmm. mothers talk to the babies before they arrive. Mm -hmm. There was already a connection. There's something else I've mentioned here. Mm -hmm. Being conned. Mm -hmm. When you're conned, there are two things. Mm -hmm. You feel out of control. You feel like you're being robbed. But it was rob robbing that involves... A, a White collar robbery. <laughs> They are just <laughs> talking, talking nice things, but Kumbe, they are robbing you. They used brain. Uh, the day I graduated, somebody called me in a very, you know. <laughs> what happened? That was sharp. Hmm. A person who called you, but we also respect their brains. Wow. <laughs> it, it was not a lot of money. Mm -hmm. It was 500. Mm -hmm. Not my money, even my mom's. Mm -hmm. You are crossing the, from UON. We're mm -hmm. just crossing and they're in towns, you know. Mm -hmm. People are with their families. Then, could I hear traffic? Just this uh, this road here. Mm -hmm. I think the university way or something, just near the roundabout. Mm -hmm. Then he's slowing a love and a telemisha kio. Hey, Pana, kwa hivyo graduate congratulations. Pana, uku niita. Wacha tu ni nunue nyama. Kuna miatano hapa kanipea thao. So, amara ni kachukua miatano ya mamini kampea. Kumbe oh my god. That was very fast and very witty. <laughs> I respected the conman. <laughs> <laughs> na kwa kwa gari na na kukon pants unacho ujamshika sura hiyo siku ni watu wengi unakutana na oh my god wako ni ngao na kwambia manze pongezi nsi 10 kumbe mama ni hiyo five zone if ya kwenda nyeri na unarudi hiyo ni hiyo ni ngata by the in fact i'm sure after that alienda kwa petroli oh i imagine he was doing those rounds calling several people <gasps> that's what i imagine because oh we just rode a paper na pongezi sana pole siku tista make kukuja wacha uh -huh. mimi nunue soda uko na 500 hapo amepatia that unjoy you don't have time to take the digital anything uh -huh. by the time you check he is gone wewe tu ulikuwa unaenda sana mimi sinyamaze na feel free to open up so imagine you're going to the salon or you're going to do your nails then you went the budget but suddenly they decide since they can see you look like you have money they are going to charge you extra do you feel like you've been conned yeah, do you, do it you has happened uh -huh. a lot mm -hmm. actually how does that make you feel it makes me feel like i can't trust this person again mm -hmm. like they're just exploiting me mm -hmm. and i'm um, here trying to grow their business by Mm -hmm. Going to them, yes. Or oh, even once you meet a boy child, very nice looking, handsome. Mm? Has, well, uh, <laughs> no, no. Atas <laughs> danza. So he sways, sways you, and a queen is a box. I tell you, I'm born out, take him a little bit. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Hey, could I be young and I'll quack you? I'll get you to my boy, day one, mm. day two, I can be a trendy out, I can be a little out. Mm. I love it in the process, I catch your contents, it's like I'm going to make now, I'm going to make now. Sasa, Skia, what happens <laughs> if you, so, that's... <laughs> what were you trying to bring us when you said, boy, you're going to bring us a box? I'm trying to say that there, there's a way, there's a way that uh, a certain type of, of guys, they can make you feel very special, mm -hmm. only because they want to use you not m not necessarily for any sexual intentions they could just want you for your money mm -hmm. or just to they want to be seen with you ah, oh damn you should mm -hmm. not do a minute mm -hmm. that's not gonna mm -hmm. and it says oh he's begged you for three weeks mm -hmm. just to hold your hand eh? how does that make you feel when you realize the intentions were ill hmm? well it will it makes me feel used because he's seeing me as like something uh, like an object mm -hmm. or maybe like an asset mm -hmm. and by that by him doing that i'll definitely put him in a position where he'll become a liability mm -hmm. yeah i won't mm. let him use me that way we see that's another loss doctor you look like you're zooming into the topic what do you want mm -hmm. to say mm -hmm. kablo realize mm -hmm. you'll have suffered losses mm -hmm. Uh, we mentioned last time, and I, we need to mention this again. Mm -hmm. Now that today we're talking about losses, there are some losses we can avoid mm -hmm. by simply being more prudent, more, mm -hmm. more prudent, mm -hmm. uh, learning ahead. Like today, I will not accept quick transactions because I was conned that way. Mm -hmm. They say that experience teaches fools, <laughs> but some folks will not learn any other way. And uh -huh. I think I was one of those folks <laughs> who had to learn the rule loss. Uh -huh. I'm happy I lost a small magnitude so mm -hmm. that I can prevent a bigger magnitude. Mm -hmm. You know how we immunize you against diseases? Mm -hmm. We inject you with that to virus of has. the real disease. Yeah. <laughs> mm. But in a weakened form, to teach your body how the real 
thing looks like mm -hmm. so they can prepare defenses mm -hmm. ni mzuri undangani kidogo mm -hmm. ukiwa high school break wako kahati kako si first year wa muna pedana tu muna fall over heels and head in love and mm -hmm. you post them all over social media and i want i want you preparing a loss my friend you are preparing a loss and you're making it bigger <laughs> setting a table wacha kuanda ukisema so utaambia nini watu bei <laughs> una post everywhere ni uliza katendwani yao kwa mimi you are too immature for this why are you broadcasting you are declaring a territory too early when he quits you will come back and tell us that guy left now i'm here <laughs> when you come back so some losses are self inflicted <laughs> grow up when you come to university take those relationships as experiments i'm following what you compare that to did that this is my guy this is my girl uh -huh. yeah, it's true mm -hmm. when i give you my title deed that you will not even feel the thing mm -hmm. when when you lose it mm -hmm. you know and i'm going to see me me okay yeah. i understand but what happens to kiwa let's assume i'm a toka reserve juicy i'm a toka machina ni village village now she's coming to nairobi to study for the first time eh? Wewe sasa na wewe. Nimekwambia aje. Eh. So you prepare for losses. Uh, so imagine there's like a freshness when when you're from a, a place that people consider backwards even and i can compare it to when you're coming from a third world country going to a second world it feels exactly like that like nika umetoka ocha na sawa umeingia siri you're in the big siri you don't where 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 and now you you, you don't know what you are confused do you want to take pictures everywhere you want to look at everything like this eh you want to look like everyone Three people else people have exited your life oh. school and uniform mm -hmm. church and the parents mm -hmm. And they are the most constraining things. You know? Wa mama wa chacha wako hapa kuambia hiyo ni fupi. You know? Na mzaea yuko hapa kuambia umechelewa wapi hiyo nani mlikuwa naye? Uko wapi? Nyumbani sometimes you cannot even hug boys. It was a concern. Here you can hug with the eye crossed. Next, next, next. You can enjoy it. Hata kwa giza. It's not a big deal here. Kwanza shule nilikuwa nafuza. Hakuna kuhug. Sasa hapa tuko na wewe. Ndio maana nitoka. No way I was thinking you are sorry. <laughs> okay, wait. Let me finish my train of thought. So I'm at Nairobi, and she's quiet. She's, you know, Anna Pima Pima Tua to Bado. Very innocent, and I would like to say naive because it's it's close to innocence. Innocence yes. na naive wako tu hivi. So and then someone says, "Does it mean you're not innocent?" Anyway. <laughs> To be continued at a later <laughs> date and time. Let us focus here. Okay. So what happens if she's taken advantage of? Not because that she's stupid. No, she she has her own education. She has her own background. But she just doesn't know what happens in this side of the world. Ni makosa kutojua hii Kweli. Yes. Ay. Mame bujitete. Sazi ina mtu aneza kutojua. Ni hatua kutojua. Ni hatua kutojua. Sometimes you may, you may just be you won't be knowledgeable but mm -hmm. it's also bad to be ignorant so mm -hmm. at least be aware uji tafutia thoughts nika fresha kikati wana fourth year simba agenda kuwinda anaanza na watoto you are unjui you are an easy target for hunters how can she make herself less of a target let's say that this loss is that first years in campus wametoka leave us bash ya form 4 that's usually their first taste of bash na wanga very excited leave us bash wame jificha hata alikuwa na uniform aka mwatu ngo tuingina kavalia ndiende leave us bash sasa kuna kuanga na fresh as bash sasa ako ana dive into the deep end you know na ajui ku swim anenda tu ku float yes then let me announce some no especially the first real heartbreak I many of them it it eats them so badly after that heartbreak they lose faith in trusting and they lose faith in love they lose faith in relationships and mm -hmm kutoka hapo anakaa gari gari ligongwa so inaenda inaenda na kando hii atii ni la rongo atii bara bara gari ni katika center boat kwa ile atalewa center boat center rongo ya kushika so unapata inaelekea ile kidi imeangalia hivi so some ladies baka leo amekatika center boat kidi kimekatika ukioni lakini you can see the consequence Okay. Some of these losses are presented for bad. Uh -huh. Let's tell these girls how. Mm -hmm. When you come to the university, mm -hmm. although some some they will tell you, mm -hmm. come out with two degrees, the, the bachelor's and a guy, you know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, if you know, I won't tell you to come out with a second degree that is better. Mm -hmm. Human knowledge. Mm -hmm. Teach yourself social skills. Mm -hmm. Learn to tell cons, emotional cons. Some guys will act like they are marrying you looking for the pre-wedding money. Mm -hmm. Don't mm -hmm. go all the way. And then you have told your girls, it's my wedding car. Mm. Are you coming? I'm shopping for gowns. Mm. He vanishes with the money. It's mm. at my home place. Why? He vanishes with the money. Wait. Guys have taken con man game to another level. Money. 
we are landed in Kenya na tuna job so what do we do uh, what do you expect we well, serikali pay watu kazi <laughs> Those ones that can call you until they take the money. The, yani the yes. bif- whoa, Especially whoa, if you are so eager to get married. Uh-huh. Hey, kwanza kwa na target ka age flani. Eh, hey, wana target to ka age boy. Wait, wait, wait. Woo. And lady was carrying a clock kwa gari. Alafu kumenya madha alafu ndio inalia. So mtu akamuliza is that your biological oh clock? My so, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So, nikusema some of the roses let's tell like now queen here. Uh-huh. <laughs> Me and the king we can announce to them. Hmm. Many times in these heartbreaks there are men who also suffer badly mm-hmm. but the larger percentage of victims mm-hmm. of newly inflicted losses mm-hmm. is the lady mm-hmm. yeah and they are prevented All right so mm-hmm. we have a couple of slides okay. and we will get to that too so there, there are five stages of grief mm-hmm. and here we go uh-huh. so nikat mechora nikat kwa class sasa so we start with denial Denial. See, deny, deny, deny. I'm on my shikwa. No, no, no. This is a different kind of the the eleventh. The eleventh. Yeah, eleventh commandment. Denial is the first uh, <laughs> state of grief. <laughs> so, shock. Denial and ah ha. What no? So we we numb. Denial. Th- so denial and isolation is we block out the words and hide from the facts. We start to believe that life is meaningless and nothing is of value any longer. The first time someone ever, I I, I learned, I don't want to say someone ever died that I knew. I'm sure I may be tia na watu na wame pass, but the the first time it was ever very personal to me. Niliamka alafu tukua tunafanya project pamoja. So nikuwa nime mtumia yake. Just that night before ndio niamke nifanye yango si ndio mm-hmm. so I wake up to a whatsapp message ati nani amekufa by the way since then nimelala na simu flight mode i don't <laughs> i don't sleep with my phone huh? you have complicated grief i Come don't allow woo, woo, woo. <laughs> okay don't don't not now later later <laughs> bye bye so the first my first reaction is nilimpigia simu ndio aniambie si ukweli but of course si alikuwa me pass but nili, like i know i called him for the whole day nilikuwa tunashinda okay maybe ako busy maybe simu imepotea maybe 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 kabla i think nijiambe okay nyewe hii simu haipokei like ni kama ime ime rap so now that's the first stage denial how do you deal with that how do you even know what's going on because i didn't know what was going on i had a similar case i called a classmate who was always was helping the work so i was just we want just finalize it umeongea jana na finalize mtumie so kupiga inachukuliwa na another voice mm-hmm. the daughter mm-hmm. tell me sorry mom uh, it's not well mm-hmm. uh, she had a way of landing us okay mm-hmm. that uh, tumempeleka hospital mm-hmm. na tutaku update by then she already passed mm-hmm. but she knew not to throw it like oh, that mm-hmm. to prepare you things are not good and mm-hmm. will update you mm-hmm. the way to deal with that is first of all to know that we started by saying accept that some of these things you will hear them during your lifetime mm-hmm. jiandae mapema kabla usikie that shocking news of death will reach you sometimes it's through accident or through sudden things and all that mm-hmm. but the next thing we are saying is give you allow you to feel the pain mm-hmm. stop running away from it eh kwanza po ku run nili run ulipiga hiyo simu the whole day nilipi nilipi gasibo I want to first read of the symptoms okay so we have the symptoms of the first denial this is intense sadness and emotional pain feeling of complete hopelessness and yearning for a reunion now yes we've started with death that was the first um loss but now let's go on to something of the sorts or along the lines of losing your job mtu amekupigia ama umeenda job kama kawa ni monday asubuhi kuna kabaridi kidogo hata ushaanza kupangia salo ya next month hata maybe umeomba loan kijo utailipa pole pole then they tell you you have a job no longer hmm? the first one is denial aje how 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 would you deal with such a thing Hela. Imagine something you put so much effort into na set fault ya mtu set ilikuwa fault yako ama fault ya employer tuseme tu ni economy Okay for me I've, I've never experienced that because mm-hmm. uh, yeah, after sana kazi mm-hmm. but nilisha potenza hiyo interview mm-hmm. and um, I worked and uh, I was the best candidate so far mm-hmm. by then by then by then I was the best candidate mm-hmm. na Uh, uh, when you alikuwa nanifanya interview ni watu nilikuwa nawajua my papers were the best but you know uh, unaambiwa Kenya ukifika some age then you will realize that uh, tribalism is real mm-hmm. so nilienda i did the best mm-hmm. according to me 
and uh, according to uh, you know some few guys who were there mm -hmm. but at the end of the day when the list come out hata uh, sikuonekana anywhere hata number 3 uko au uko unachezea ki yeah yeah but uh, to me that uh, that was a learning point because okay that job was to be done for three weeks mm -hmm. no no you know, two weeks mm -hmm. yeah na pesa ilikuwa poa mm -hmm. so uh, i learned and uh, i've always worked on the weaknesses and uh, and and the the challenges i was told and the reasons why i was not given that job mm -hmm. so to some extent the way dr Rhee said is that uh when when uh, there are some things that life teaches you that today this one comes and tomorrow another one goes mm -hmm. and you have to deal with it as a human being mm -hmm. yes can you relate mommy yeah mm -hmm. how yeah like i also have ever lost a job but yeah it's not something that will stop you it's mm -hmm. at the end of the day you, it's it's going to hurt you but you just have to accept and move on you guys are saying it very professionally i want the feelings that were there feelings those are the ones that i want from the moment that you learned what was going on to the point you kakao what next especially if maybe you didn't have something else to to fall back on how did you manage how did you get yourself up and say okay nyewe is in life too mm. Yes. Can you walk me through it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Losing courage. Mm -hmm. uh, you beat yourself up thinking mm -hmm. that you're not good enough. Yeah. But did you tell your friends immediately? No, I didn't even tell you. You see, mtu uskia kaibu flani manze. And it's nothing you did. You did your absolute best. So, <laughs> why are you looking at me like that, Dr. Ari? <laughs> You've had two points of view. Yes. And I like that both ended with, it's okay. Things come and things go. But what happens One to the person who's stuck there? One of my most crushing defeats of that type was mm. a scholarship I was expecting. I'm mm. pursuing my PhD and we'd applied to some guys they got. Mm -hmm. I applied a second time, I was expecting, this time I'll get. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was, many factors were favoring me. Mm -hmm. Among the male, I was almost the only mm. guy from my cohort to apply. So we had anticipated that after the miss first time, second time, Tapata. And then, when you're waiting that merchant, it's where you're hoping our school fees is quite an amount. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you need that kind of assistance to be able to pull you through. Mm -hmm. Then they send you a regret, again, a second time. Mm -hmm. Ah, you feel, a, you get a sinking feeling. Some, some heaviness. Mm -hmm. And then you are, your knees lose strength. <laughs> you're on a sofa side, but you're sliding. <laughs> there before, you are okay. Mm -hmm. But then when I, sl I got down, I started praying there. Mm -hmm. so instead of crashing, yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. in, a, in a praying position. Mm -hmm. You can actually convert a cry into a mm -hmm. prayer if you adopt a praying position. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the world forces you to your knees, yes. you might as well just. So pray. instead of crying like this, you cry like this. <laughs> so it looks like prayer. Wow. But on the same day, mm -hmm. at around the same time, mm -hmm. the girl I'd requested to marry me said yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. So at least one side. You can say my one way to deal with the losses is to calculate what you're getting. Oh, ho. I like that. Although I lost a scholarship, uh -huh. I got a lifetime sponsorship through a wife. Uh -huh. I know this one will be with me emotionally, stand with me, and we shall manage it. Okay. When you come, only put a helper. Well, it's a buffer. Yes. Buffer your loss. Uh -huh. All right. So we have the second one. We now need to go a little bit faster because they're telling me time is a running out a bit. The intense emotions is step two of the dealing with grief. Intense emotion is deflected from vulnerability. The anger may be aimed at yourself, at God or a higher deity, inanimate objects, complete strangers, friends or family. So that means, mind your own business, then you go say hi to someone. Hi, are you okay? What's wrong with you? Why are you talking to me? He just, they just go off, off for no reason. Or you have other people who would now deal with anger by crying. They'll just start crying and you don't know what to do. What's a boy child like you're not kill you? What's wrong with this one? What do I do? What do I do? Panic, panic, panic. So we have here the symptoms are getting intensely angry over small things. Umkanyage. Ha! Bari. Flashing out. Hmm. For some reason, I'm quite agitated. Now I'm going to the whole atmosphere. I'm going to go Thank you. Yes. I wanted to say kangemi. Why am I saying kangemi? I'm going to say kangemi. I'm going to say kangemi. For no reason. Like you have your own internal shit problems, but you don't really know how to communicate it. Then you have crying impulsively. Have you ever experienced it, Queen? You have? Yeah. Tell me the story. Yeah, crying, especially when you lose someone, you, you feel like, mm -hmm. why did it happen to him? Now that's when the anger kicks in. Mm -hmm. You like trying remembering that the times you were with him and you didn't do certain things, but you shouldn't have to like regret. 
So like when it happened to me, I cried mm -hmm. for like even like three days straight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was so hard. Mm -hmm. Raila? Yes. Uh, for me, I, I would like to, you know, tell my guys that, okay, what happens with me, if you are that intense, mm -hmm. uh, I don't post on, uh, on the theater. Mm -hmm. yeah, that is what most of the youths do. You know, you uh, and I post to Jinga in Jinga Putu in just at our Likosana boyfriend and a post, mm. and another Konga with Jinga. And mm -hmm. then we'll, from that, people will learn, will, you know, they will, they will judge you. Mm -hmm. So for me, what I do is simple. I do, mm -hmm. I, I just go to my house, Kai, Nifunge, and then mm -hmm. cry, you know, and then. Actually, yeah, too, you know, I'm a man, but there are some things that you need to do, you don't need to do and, you know, expose. Mm -hmm. So, na liya too, na same at the end of the day, actually, yeah, machunga atakoya menda, unona, because that is the best solution you can ever get. Actually, yeah, then, utakoya, unasema, after all, your kazi ata ikuwa, nini, ata, after all, you msena sim rembo. Then, you move on with the life. Taka, taka. Yeah. Taka, taka. Oh, no. That was a wrong way. But I... When the up uproar for the song Takataka Taka came out, I, I was thankful for one thing, that this young guy, instead of going to harm this girl, yeah. you know, in, instead of going to physically abuse her or, or emotionally or psychologically harm her to her face. <laughs> But you are still acknowledging because I think But I like where he took Comparing the guy who drives to Eldoret to her lady. So we are in the studio, song it a blow, a kapata to pesa, is a kill mutua kaban, storication. You know, everyone is still alive and everyone is still healthy and happy. But mm. as, as a teacher of young men, I tell him, that was still not healthy. It's true. He's still blasted in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Actually, the lady was still having a lot of power over him. By the time you go to record a song to insult me, you're still affected by me. <laughs> the best way to react when you're offended by people is process it personally, but show them a blank screen. Mm -hmm. Act unaffected. Mm -hmm. Indifference is the best revenge. <laughs> Revenge is best, best when served cold. You don't take any action, don't show me I affected you because it shows I'm, I still have influence. But I'm going to get a I'm going to get a and I'm going to get a The next lady will not date him because I'm going to get a girl and I'm going to get a That's what the boy did not think. You're announcing to ladies that you're not trustworthy. Okay, so now we are just going to read through. There's depression, another stage, and this is, um, it's quiet, it is our quiet preparation to separate from the thing that has been lost. So this can be confused. Look at, why you look at me like that? That's in anyway. Correct us, correct us. This is research that has this been done. This is the advanced stage of depression where you are, you are preparing to separate. Mm -hmm. But the real depression means deep, a state of being depleted. Mm -hmm. When you're depressed is just like, if you even say there's a depression on earth there's somewhere, a, yeah. mm -hmm. it's a state of being depleted. Mm -hmm. You're too much and demanded, has been demanded from you that you no longer have any more to offer. Mm -hmm. When the pain is so exhausting mm -hmm. and you cannot, when you're depressed, you no longer cry. Mm -hmm. The tears are, are gone. You stop feeling. Upon you yes. cannot get out of bed. I say I feel nothing. They can't move from bed. Mm -hmm. And they are asleep. You don't want to talk to anyone. You're there, you're trying to, to binge watch things, but you're not really seeing anything. You're now just there. Now that's depression. Uh -huh. Huh. You are just depleted. Uh -huh. Energy is gone. Okay. So the next one is not acceptance. Uh, yes. Are we right? So the next one is acceptance. Not everyone who experiences, this is very important, not everyone who experiences grief or loss or end loss reaches this stage. And that's very sad. Except, they just did not process a loss. Mm -hmm. They are disappointed at God and religion and society. Mm -hmm. and if you really don't believe there's God, he's a lecturer and he's talking about God through all the lesson. <laughs> If you don't believe there's a snake, why are you talking about snakes so much? Mm -hmm. They talk about God more than Christians. Mm -hmm. It means you're just angry with him. It's mm -hmm. not that you don't believe. You have a protest. You want to dethrone him. Mm -hmm. You wish you can find him. Mm -hmm. And he's frustrating you because he's not answering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's not but talking he's controlling back. everything. But so, you, you, yeah. if, you don't accept, if you don't accept, you become an unbeliever in love, mm -hmm. an unbeliever in God, an unbeliever in employment, an unbeliever, hater of women, hater of men, hater of... You, you, it complicates. If you don't reach acceptance, you get stuck. Apoqua, hater of men and hater of women, I'd like to come just a little bit back because we we have, uh, wait, 
Okay, I have something that is very special over here, but mm -hmm. that uh, you find if someone has hurt you very bad, mm -hmm. you, you don't ever want to try that mess again. You, don't, you believe that everyone is either going to hurt you like this or is going to attempt to hurt you, you like this. You close your heart in somewhere so uh -huh. that you never feel again. You never expose yourself again. And Although you you've closed yourself in a coffin that we can't reach you, uh -huh. you also can't reach out. Now look at Auntie. She put a tattoo on her face. I have been dumped by my fiancé, Stevo. How do I remove this tattoo? How do I remove Let's this tattoo? Let's announce to these teenagers who put permanent things in a temporary relationship. <sighs> you wait, Steve, when Peter comes, and you can see Steve who's <laughs> on you. You wait, Jay, uh, more on your, you on your breast here, uh -huh. and then you are suckling like a baby, and you are like a baby, and you are like a baby. Why, We can we, we finish. What people uh -huh. should know. Uh -huh is that women are married mm -hmm. until they die, until they are 90. Mm -hmm. They can be remarried, be married, be married. Mm -hmm. When I saw my grandmom, when mm -hmm. my grandfather died in 2005, and it was 2012, mm -hmm. I was So, I was like, Life is longer than what you see. Life is deeper. Yeah. Because if you leave, yeah. in the song, I'll just stop it. Not a tattoo. <laughs> Guys, we have reached the end of our time, but we have Liam Hesborn says, grief is universal, and I believe time is a key component in healing. Allow yourself to grieve, face the bitter truth. It happened, move on. It doesn't seem easy as it sounds. They say, by the way, time is the best healer, but I don't think time heals anything. It, you just, unazoea, it has nothing to do with healing. Oh yeah, it, wow, Konaya Coins is watching from Naivasha. All right, we see you. Boy hey, boy oh, child. Mbona we mnona tu boy child. Mbona unazoom up or boy child me effort. All right, we see you and we appreciate you. I want you guys to give your social media handles real quick. Facebook, Zulu Benjamin. Mm -hmm. uh, Instagram, Zulu Benjamin. Mm -hmm. I mean, Instagram and Twitter, Zulu Benjamin zero. Mm -hmm. Gmail, Zulu Benjamin at Gmail. Mm -hmm. Queen? All, all social media platforms, underscore dot Neri. Mm -hmm. And you are? Uh, Raila Opaj on Facebook, Raila Opaj on Twitter, or Raila Opaj on Hmm. Gmail, Raila Opaj. Nyo, 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 nyo. Yeah. We see Gita Ike <laughs> says, watching from Kakamega, Nona, Wanaume, Nikujikaza, nothing more. Woi, Wanaume. It's okay, it's gonna be alright. I am at Kalamival on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, but Tamuhimu ni at Y254, Facebook at Y254 channel on Twitter, hashtag is Y in the morning. This ride has been intense. They've been a few turbulences but uh, we have arrived at our destination from 7 to 10 monday through friday excellence all throughout you should have a good day and let's prepare to have an amazing week see you this is where we wave